Hello and welcome to KeepSmilingEnglish.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you where you can find a Cambridge English computer-based uh, sample test. As you may know, uh, for some of Cambridge English exams, such as PET or FCE, uh, there are two different formats available when taking the exam. Uh, we have the paper-based format, which is the traditional format that you find in books, for instance, and then we have the computer-based format. And in today's video, I'd like to show you where you can find it and some things that you should take into account when uh, choosing uh, whether to take the uh, paper-based format or the computer-based exam. Okay, so let's get on with it. The first thing, the first thing you should do is uh, go to a Cambridge English official website, which is cambridgeenglish.org. Here, just uh, simply hover over the exams button and choose the exam that you're interested in. In my case, uh, I'm going to choose, uh, just for this example, the first certificate exam. Once here, you'll see a brief description of the exam and some key facts, okay? Uh, but we should go to the exam preparation or the preparation, sorry, the preparation section. Here, you'll see uh, some sample tests. These are paper-based uh, uh, files that, or exact sample tests that uh, you can download. Uh, and then we have the computer-based sample tests. Good. So one thing that you should take into account before uh, attempting to do a, a computer-based sample test is that you should use the Firefox browser. Okay, uh, I've tried on Safari as well, but um, to be honest, it, it does work better on Firefox. Good. Um, you c there is also a tutorial available, which will tell you uh, how you can do the exam. Okay, although it's uh, pretty, pretty intuitive and pretty basic, so you may not need to do it. And then you have the different components of the exam here. Okay. Uh, one thing that you should know before you click on any of the components is that the answers are not included, not included in any of these components. Uh, so if you're going to do the whole exam and you want to, to correct your exam, you should uh, download these documents, uh, these PDF documents beforehand. OK, the ones with the answer key. Obviously, there's no uh, key for the writing sample. So if you decide to do that, make sure that you print out your uh, writing tasks and you give them to someone who can correct them, such as your teacher. Good. So let's try the reading and use of English sample test. Good. Once you click there, uh, this screen will come up uh, where you'll see in the on the day of the exam, you'll see your name and surname here, uh, your date of birth and your candidate number. It's very important that if the details are not correct, that you inform the invigilator or the supervisor so they can um, they can notify the mistake and have it corrected. So uh, we can click on my details are correct and this will take us to the basic exam instructions such as the the time of the exam, uh, the, the some basic instructions uh, to candidates such as uh, I mean obvious things uh, like you have to answer all the questions or uh, you can change your answers at any time etc and then the number of questions and the, the marks that uh, each of the parts carry. Okay, so when you're ready or not when you're ready, sorry, when the invigilator or the supervisor tell you, tells you to do so, uh, you just uh, have to click on start test. And this will take you, as you see, to the first part of the use of English. Okay, good. Now, uh, for the first part, you see that uh, by simply clicking each gap, you will have a drop down menu with all the four different options. OK, and also across in case you want to clear if, you, for example, if you chose accomplish, but you're not sure you'd you'd better just clear it there. OK, at the bottom of the screen, you see the different parts of the exam. OK, uh, in blue, you'll see the the item or the question that you you have chosen right now that you're supposed to be answering. Uh, but this doesn't mean anything. I mean, you can jump from one part to the other uh, seamlessly without uh, without any problems. And then if you want to go back, you just simply have to click on a previous button. OK, very good. So also, uh, there's also something that you should take into account. Uh, for example, imagine that uh, it says uh, tracing a family history. You can also and you choose cause. OK, but you're not sure. Uh, so. You can choose that question or that answer, sorry, 
but if you're not sure, you might want to review it later. So if you come to the uh, bottom left corner of your screen, there's a review button here, which you can tick. And as you see, the um, number of the question will change. Uh, the box actually will, sh the shape will change from a square, a black square to a, to a white, uh, to a white circle. Okay. So that's very important. So then when you look at the, at the number of the questions at the bottom, you will see the ones that you should review and the ones that you've already answered. Okay. Uh, another thing is that if you if you answer, uh, for example, let's uh, just choose prize here. When you answer one of the questions, um, the number will change from white, sorry, from black, or the box of the number will change from black to white. Okay, and you'll see that the number is underlined as well. Very good. Now let's uh, go to the first part of the reading, okay, which is part five. And let's see what you can do here as well. Um, in this case, you see the questions on the right, uh, uh, and each time you click a question, this will show the answers, okay, and hide the answers of the previous one. And uh, one thing that might be very useful, and that uh, some people worry about, uh, about uh, the computer-based formats that not having, okay, um, is that you can select part of the text and you can highlight it or take some notes. Now, how do you do this? Well, you simply have to select the part of the text that you're interested in and you right click over it and then you'll see highlight or notes. Okay, let's just highlight, okay? In this case, uh, you see how clear it is. This will make this part of the text really, really stand out. Uh, also, if, uh, if you want to take some notes, you can do the same process. You select, you right click, and then you click on notes. Okay, this will display this sort of uh, yellow post-it. Uh, if you click on it, then you can type whatever you want. Okay, uh, then to hide this, simply click on the cross and it'll hide it. But if you go back and click over the highlighted bit, you'll see uh, the the note that you wrote there uh, clearly displayed. Okay, I think that's a very useful feature that you, on paper, it would uh, be only uh, your handwriting, but here it's a bit more than that. Okay, good. So uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, maybe a couple of things that you should also take into account, although they're not that important is that uh, the bottom part where you see all, the, all the, the questions, okay? If you find this a little intrusive and you want to make the reading area a little larger, uh, you can click on this uh, yellow arrow, okay? And this will make it a little smaller, okay? If I were you, I would just uh, stick to the regular layout as I think it's a lot uh, clearer. Uh, also, if you want to go, uh, if you want to do all the questions one by one without skipping without skipping any of them, you can choose to uh, move forward or backwards using the arrows in the uh, bottom right corner. Okay, as you see, this will take you to the next question. And finally, if at any point you, you, you don't want to, you want to rest a little bit, or you don't want to, or you, maybe you've finished and uh, you want to leave the room, what you should do is uh, click on the button uh, called hide, okay, in the top right corner. This will hide the screen and uh, you can tell the invigilator, you can put your hand up, ask the invigilator or the supervisor and they will let you know if you can leave the room or not. If, uh, if you can't leave the room and uh, you want to go back to, to reviewing your test, you simply have to click on resume test, okay? And this will take you to uh, where you were before you clicked on hide. Okay, guys, so that's all you need to know about computer-based uh, tests. Uh, I hope now you have enough information to decide whether you want to take the paper-based format or a computer-based uh, test, okay? If you have any questions, don't forget to ask them in the comments below. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, and uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Google+. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.